So where does, what does this have to do with your PPI intake? So you take the PPI, it diminishes the acid in your stomach. It also allows bacteria to reproduce that in a normally functioning stomach, if you hadn't you know, altered its function by diminishing the acid, that acid environment is there to destroy microorganisms. It does many other things as well, like allow you to absorb certain key nutrients, but it kills the bad guys. It kills the bad bacteria. And when you diminish that acid, you're allowing that bacteria to procreate, to multiply. And that creates something called dysbiosis, D-Y-S, meaning an imbalance of the good bacteria that should be in your gut. So what happens with that is that these bacteria produce their own set of toxins. And due to this overgrowth of bacteria now in your colon, we get what's called leaky gut. So um, the protection that we should have of the gut not allowing bad things to enter our bloodstream, that has been compromised now due to leaky gut, due to this abundance of bacteria in the system. So now you have leaky gut and these toxins can enter the bloodstream, particularly the bloodstream from the gut to the liver and through what's called the portal vein. So the, this bloodstream going from the gut to the liver, these toxins are now flowing into your liver. And that leads to, over time, this doesn't happen in a day, this is over time, it leads to inflammation of the liver, fatty accumulation in the liver, and now you have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease.